channel, I'm Deanna and you're watching Orchid D and the last of my orchids has finally come home. My friend Jamie was looking after most of my cat layers uh, and she's done an absolutely wonderful job. So she's dropped them off to me uh, today which is great because um, she lives a little bit of a distance away so it was really nice of her to come over to mine and uh, we got to catch up over breakfast and uh, yeah I've just finished an on-call shift this morning so it was yeah perfect I didn't want to drive anywhere obviously because I'm super tired um, so the pups and I are just having a super chill relaxed day I don't like going to sleep always after my on-call shifts because it's really hard to get to sleep you know the next night and so I just want to get back into a rhythm so it's a really quiet orchid day I'm going through the orchids that came back from her and just cleaning them up they mostly look amazing and so I'll slowly film this over the day because I'm a little bit incoherent so you just have to bear with me but let's have a look at these orchids um so Jamie's got a nice little outdoor area so she got a lot of my cat layers which I don't mind staying outside. It's been cool, so not a lot of them are doing anything, but they are healthy. So she sent me pictures of them while I was away, and I did pick um, out a couple that had some uh, bad scale on it, but I've had a look at those, and she's done an amazing job cleaning them up. So um, I didn't have to do much at all. And at the moment what I'm doing is I'm just checking them for pests and you know there's the odd little bit of scale here and there that I'm cleaning up and I'm just cleaning out sheets and seeing what they're doing. But for the most part they look really good. Not a lot of them are doing a whole lot in terms of growth um, but there is a lot of active root growth going. A couple of them are just beginning to swell their nubbins I think. Um, but let's have a quick look. So this is the um, Toshi Aoki Starburst. Now this guy has been stored for me for a very long time so um, it's growing roots and it and it has been consistently growing roots. Sorry it's like dripping on me uh, and I did see some active root growth going on in there if you see that in there. Um, so it's been growing its roots nicely but it honestly hasn't done anything for a really long time since we put it in June so since like October November last year it really hasn't done very much at all it matured its growth and then zilch nothing while it was at Jamie's this is the one that had quite severe scale and um, I'll try and bring a picture up but I've had a good look and I've picked through a little bit and um, she's done an excellent job like what's there is all dried up and um, dead and I've there's a there's been a little bit of um, stuff behind like those little swollen growths there which I've um, picked out with my little dental pick uh, but apart from that it's done really well and all these orchids I've just had little bits and pieces here and there um, as I mentioned a lot of them have active root tips this one has always been a vigorous one this is RLC California Queen so it's got a couple of growths that one's maturing there and you can see just down there another one coming up but all the roots look super um, plump they were all dry um, but they looked super plump and alive which is really good and it's more than I can say for my cat layers that went through the first year with me um, I didn't do very well with them at all and this means that you know she's been letting them dry out really well between waterings which is exactly what you should do especially when you're keeping your cat layer outside in winter and yeah so almost no change in the roots like no negative change in the roots and nothing but positive stuff from me here like this is active root growth this is my seedling Cattleya walkeriana and you can see like all the roots still look alive still soaking up stuff there we've got growth maturing on this one the new growths are smaller um, but it is winter 
and they weren't really getting nutrients so they were just getting water so yeah they look really good um, but the stuff I'm doing I'm just about to clean this one up here this one is um, BC Hawaii Stars Sinying and it's just stuff like looking through the growths you can see like this one's got a little bit of scale there and I'm just peeling back these sheets and um, you know cleaning it up with a little bit of alcohol I've got one more on this tray to do so yeah I'm gonna keep cleaning up and if there's anything significant to show I will show it to you but um, I'll get through this tray and then another tray I'm just taking my time because I'm a little bit slow and tired today but overall I am so pleased they look great so after I'm cleaning them up most of them are getting um, soaked I guess in a little bit of a tonic that I've made up um, so I've been doing that when I've been watering all the orchids that have been coming back either in this or in um, my normal fertilizer uh, makeup if they're actively growing and doing okay um, but the ones that need a little bit of pick me up or the ones that aren't doing a whole lot um, they are getting some of this seaweed cow mag solution um, and it's got a little bit of nitrogen potassium top up as well just to give them a little bit of a kick start they'll all be a bit stressed from the transport and moving and everything um, and it's winter so I figure it will probably just pick them up a little bit all right so I've just brought the second tray out and I think I'll actually go through um, most of these individually just because um, there's probably something a little bit to say about all of these plants and how they've progressed uh, I haven't actually done anything to them I haven't cleaned them up um, I've just brought them out here and had a look but this is my copper queen BLC copper queen and if you remember this is the one that I had divided so there's a back portion and a front portion um, and so you can see that something's lo not looking very good here and if you have a look down these are actually the canes off the back portion that aren't doing well it is valiantly trying to bring up a new growth here from that back portion but you can see all the bulbs from that back portion are dying off so I'm gonna to have to do something about that um, I think it's just not gonna make it now the front portion on the other hand is not doing so bad so it bloomed and this was the newest cane here um, there's an old bloom spike there and it's actually bringing out another growth let me find it just down there and the, that funny little thing it's coming it's coming out of this growth which is the one that I broke off and this little nub of the growth that was left has brought out lots of new roots and now a new cane for me so it's a it's a forgiving it's a forgiving plant but I feel like it the back portion was a bit weak and it just couldn't take um, the amount of outdoor stresses um, that came with uh, being on the back deck at um, Jamie's place so and I mean that just is natural selection really but the front portion is looking fine and yeah now this is my Awanagara apple blossom and um, I got her as a bonus plant like a free plant from one of the nurseries in one of the halls I got and it didn't have any roots um, it was in this manky manky media and all the roots were dead and it's so all these roots are new from when I repotted it back in February so it's grown this good root system um, it grew this cane which is shorter but super fat it grew this lovely sheath and um, if you remember it had a triple sheath so it had a sheath inside a sheath inside a sheath um, I'm really surprised it didn't bloom 
I really thought this this girl was gonna bloom um, anyway it's a new plant for me and let's have a quick look at it because it's got got these markings so these weren't there before um, and to me it just looks like it got too much light so maybe uh, this isn't a very high light plant you guys tell me um, uh, I don't know much about it it's obviously a new plant in my collection it's not flowered for me previously but it has flowered it's definitely flowered from old canes um, I just yeah it looks like sun damage um, but I will say the other thing is and this is just for you guys to know when you see you see that sort of patching um, on the top of the leaf always look on the underside of the leaf because you'll almost always find stuff so there's some scale there um, and I'm almost certain we'll find the same on this side so bit of scale um, so yeah I think it just uh, was at really at the very upper limits of what it could handle in terms of um, direct light so uh, I'm not sure exactly what the conditions were so I'll clean this one up and yeah she'll just go back to doing what she's doing she doesn't have much more room in this pot um, so I'll just see what she does um, it was probably a poor choice of pot on my behalf but really when I potted it it had no roots so um, and this is actually a big pot as it is it's at least a 15 centimeter pot so I think I might have to try and find a bigger one for her and maybe just um, up pot her. So plonk her into a new pot and just fill around um, so I don't disturb it too much. Now these two guys over here, this is my Lelia purpurata and this is my Cattleya amethystoglossa, both species and both leaning one way. I don't understand. Um, this one you can see it's just sort of fallen or been dragged a little bit to the side and uh, there's a little bit of a gap through there so but it's actually growing some nice roots I'm very hesitant to take it out um, look the main thing about it growing out like that is the amount of horizontal space it takes up it just takes up a lot of room but besides that I don't really mind the benefits are that it's actually got a lot more room on this side to continue growing so maybe I'll just have to find an appropriate spot for this one um, it's lost one of its back canes and I can see that it looks dehydrated like I, th I think it looks really dry um, and it just needs to plump up a bit it needs some nutrients and it needs some water to plump up a bit otherwise yeah I think that's and I think that's what happened to this I think it just um, yeah ran out of energy so it needs a good water and a good feed this guy too just completely leaning to the side but um, if I have a look inside the pot the roots have stabilized nicely in there I'm inclined to just leave these two and not disturb them in any way they seem happy it's just not pretty um, and it's just not very I guess functional for me but they're two big plants that I think if I disturb them I'll just continue to set them back um, I might as well just leave them be, let them do their thing and hopefully it'll re reward me in the future for not disturbing it. So these are the last two um, to show you guys and there's probably not a lot to say about them. This is um, this is BLC Empress Worsley Roman Holiday and it's a recent one from an orchid show, um, the one that I went to Christine with and it was potted, it's done really well since it was repotted back in February. Um, these two were the growths that were growing at the time and they've matured a little bit smaller um, and they didn't flower but who knows, you know there's two sheets there, maybe it'll still flower but they are dry so I don't know. 
Um, and this is a No ID cat layer, which probably just got knocked around a little bit. You can see this leaf is broken off there, um, but it's got this growth that has finished maturing. Um, there's a old leaf that's just died off here, which I can just remove. Um, but yeah, it looks fine. It looks good. As with the others, the roots still look intact and alive and healthy. But yeah, I just wanted to show you these guys individually because um, there's a little bit going on with each of them, but nothing dire at all. All their root systems look great. And actually, for the most part, they look very healthy and happy. So yeah, I'm just going to tidy them up and give them a good drink and I'll see how they go. I'll see what I can do with this one. Um, it's obviously a shame if I have to take it out of the pot completely but this back portion's dying off maybe i can just leave it there and let it dry off what do you guys think um i don't particularly want to take this um other half out of the pot and i've learnt my lesson now about potting two halves into one pot <laughs> um because yeah definitely stuff like this can happen sorry if this um video is jumping a bit to and fro but I thought I'd just add this in uh, but I've just noticed that um, this growth looks like it's broken so it must have broken in transport or something which is a real shame didn't grow a sheath but yeah I I really think that's uh, badly damaged um, I don't think it's gonna survive that uh, but yeah, this is my um, temporary solution to use these uh, clips on the side of the pot to tie this back and make it lean uh, less, <laughs> I guess. And um, I've done the same with my amethyst glosser. It's, it's been a little bit more successful than the other one um, and it's holding that up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I've cleaned up those six plants now and there's just a few more random ones inside for me to do okay and the very last of the orchids from jamie and from all the babysitters are here really random lot um, that these guys were all flowering and i imagine jamie has kept them all inside um, but we'll have a quick look. Uh, this is a little Paphia petalum, um, Cherry Glace cross with Ferianum, and I'll see if I can find a picture of the bloom. But yeah, it was in bloom for her, and um, she's just chopped off the flower, obviously, or it's fallen off. And um, yeah, I'll just clean that up, give it a good drink. It looks a little bit um, droopy, but yeah, maybe that's just the lack of humidity inside. Um, the next one is BLC Pink Diamond, which flowered for her, and um, she did send me a photo, which I'll put up. But yeah, that's the um, that's the old spike there, and I'm not sure. I don't think it's quite doing anything down here. Maybe just that little nubbin there is a little bit swollen. So when the weather warms up, I'm sure it'll start growing again. Um, and check this out guys this is another Oncidium twinkle pink profusion and I brought home my other twinkle from my sister-in-law's um, who's just beginning to flower so um, I call that twinkle Mr. Twinkle and this is Mrs. Twinkle he's yellow she's pink and they are going to be adorable together so the yellow twinkle the other one I have has 13 spikes at the moment um, and, and it's significantly the bulbs are significantly larger. Um, I feel that this is still a small plant, but it's got three spikes and I thought it had a fourth. Yeah, so you can see the fourth spike is just dried up um, there. And I know this, this plant hates drying out. Um, like it just reacts really badly within a day it'll have some dieback of the leaf tips and stuff so yeah even a day of um, dryness might have um, killed off a little small spike so I'm not surprised but these other spikes are pretty close to blooming this one's just beginning to open up and these flowers are just ridiculous 
ridiculously cute and I'm hoping this one has um, just as lovely a fragrance as the other one uh, we've got um, dendrobium little green apples here uh, which was a bit of a random choice for me to give her I think um, because I don't think it was in bloom or anything but it looks pretty happy it's not doing anything but yeah it looks happy and this is Bellara Matthias Glamour which was blooming um, and obviously that's the growth there but there was a growth on the other side this one which is finished maturing but it doesn't seem to have flowered um, I think uh, where she was probably keeping it inside just wasn't quite enough light um, for this other one to flower otherwise I'm pretty sure it might have but anyway it's a pretty steady grower it's bloomed for me twice now so yeah I'm sure it'll just keep on doing what it's doing I wish I hadn't saved these for last but anyway just a few random little dendrobiums they all seem to be doing just fine all right guys I can't believe that's it that's all my orchids back um, and that's the last of the orchid updates for you guys. I can hear you all like going, yay. Yeah, I am so, so very grateful to um, my friends who looked after the orchids. Look, and I don't know if any of them watch this channel. I, I highly doubt it. I don't really um, sell this channel to my family and friends very much. Um, no one else is really into orchids. There's a little, little secret spot inside of me that just really hopes every time I give these orchids to my friends that they'll get a little bit hooked <laughs> on looking after orchids as well. And, you know, I'll have someone to um, share all my orchid stories with that hasn't quite happened yet. Um, but yes, thank you, thank you, thank you to Lee, Libby, Olivia, Christine and Jamie for looking after these orchids. Oh my God, it just means so very much to me. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys, the viewers enjoyed collecting my orchids with me as they came in. So please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you wanna see more orchid videos. I hope you guys have a lovely day and week and happy growing until I see you next time. Bye.